Rocket League, sometimes you'll be just having a good time, maybe hanging out with your friends, playing a few games, and then your battle car just suddenly starts breaking down like it's having a goddamn aneurysm. I do have to give Cyanix credit though, they have created and maintained a game that is relatively free of major bugs. It does happen sometimes, and you know, sometimes they take time to fix, but usually these aren't bugs that are like game changers. I feel like I have to say that before I just like expose this game. But since my last video going over some of the craziest glitches in Rocket League history, and seeing how much people love that video, I knew that as more glitches have showed up since then, I had to make another one of these. So stay put because some of these are pretty amazing. Before we get into the video though, I wanted to give a big shout out to Vincero for sponsoring this video. If you haven't already heard of them, they're basically a watch company that provides really quality, amazing products for a completely affordable price. Basically, this company was started by these three guys because they wanted to be able to make watches at an affordable price that are still really quality. They realized that watches don't have to be $10,000 or $5,000 or even $1,000 to be really nice and really well made. And they actually sent me a watch it is so legit, so nice. You can just tell that it's really, really quality. I actually showed it to my dad, who's kind of a watch guy, and he loves it. Like, it's way nicer than any watch I've ever owned. And it honestly feels really cool to own something like that. I feel like I've never owned a really nice watch because I've always thought that I'd need to spend a ton of money to get one. But this thing is great and it's totally affordable. Also, Vincero has received over 16,000 five-star reviews. This is the best thing that you can get for your money in the market. So if you're looking for a nice watch, or maybe you hadn't even thought of buying a watch, but you just wanna take your fashion game to the next level, not only can you get it for the regular affordable price, but you can get 15% off your final price plus free worldwide shipping when you use the code FLUMP at checkout. So this is an amazing deal. Definitely check it out. I've got a link in the description to make it easy. So just click on that, go pick your watch, use the code and get it for an incredibly reasonable price. And again, big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. I'm a big fan of this brand. I really think they make amazing products and I really do believe that you'll love whatever you get from them. All right, guys, let's jump right into 10 more crazy Rocket League glitches. All right, guys, let's kick this off with a glitch that really hits home for me. One that I can say exists because I've personally experienced it and I continue to experience it. So basically it's a glitch where after you hit a button, it basically doubles your input. Now Verge has tweeted about this happening for him in the menu. He just feels like it's not responsive in the same way. And you know, this could be a different issue altogether, but for me and for many others, it happens when you hit the jump button, for example, and your car will immediately dodge forward like you hit it twice. Or what happens to me all the time right now is I hit Y to switch to car cam and it immediately switches back to ball cam like instantly faster than I I could ever hit the button twice. Now I thought this was potentially just the case of like my buttons sticking, but now after going through this with two of my cheaper controllers that I use, and now using a scuff controller, like a brand new scuff controller, it's still happening. Now I wanted to mention this first because I really do think that this is a real and pretty bad glitch that does need to be fixed. Now, I'm not sure how that will happen, and I realize these things aren't simple. It doesn't seem like it would be a simple fix to me, but it is honestly kind of driving me crazy. So yeah, let us know in the comments if you've experienced this before. Maybe it is just sticking buttons. I don't know. Maybe my sensitivity should be changed. I'm open to suggestions, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Number nine goes to this crazy recent glitch that actually happened on Derek's stream a few days ago. Basically, he was looking at an old replay and then he jumped directly from that replay into a match. And from his perspective, his car switched from the Dominus, which he always uses and has always used, to the Octane. So he thought that he had just like switched his preset or something, but then and after a goal was scored, it switched back to his original preset, back to the Dominus. And he went and looked at other players' streams in the lobby, and from their perspective, he was using the Dominus the entire time. Very creepy, very weird. Now, I've honestly never seen anything like this. Now, I messaged him and he actually said that he can 100% replicate this by going into an old replay and then jumping into a game. It like switches the car. And I trust Derek, I think he's right. It's really crazy. Also, he did say that it was definitely the Octane. Like he wasn't using the Dominus. He said it was the Octane hitbox. It felt 100% like the Octane. So yeah, this is a pretty weird one. This is one of the crazier ones I think that I've seen. All right, number eight goes to the kickoff glitch that happened after several updates in a row just a couple months ago. Yeah, I kind of felt like that was every update for a while. But basically, your car would spawn on the diagonal kickoff at Champions Field in, I guess we could call like an abnormal spot. 
just to the side of the boost instead of behind it like it normally is. And I love this glitch because it has nothing to do with the update. Like I don't even remember what the update was, but it was something for like tournaments or I don't even know what it was. All I know is that it randomly made the kickoff spawn at only one of the maps in only one of the spots completely weird. I feel like this just has to do with Rocket League being a physics based game and really how complicated physics based games are. When you change one thing, everything kind of wants to get messed up. Number seven goes to a great little glitch that really wasn't a glitch at all, but it really did feel like a glitch. And it came with an update a while back where Psyonix decided to make some changes to in-game audio, and one of them being the sound that the ball makes when it hits the walls. So they went like full tennis mode here, and basically the ball sounded like this crazy echoey giant tennis ball just smacking the ground at Wimbledon or smacking a tennis racket. But yeah, this was intentional, and I do believe that they kept these changes at least somewhat, they just minimized them quite a bit after everyone reacted the way that they did. Basically, people don't like change in Rocket League, especially to core things like sound. But you know, I honestly wasn't upset by it. I thought it was kind of weird, but I was already getting used to it. Oh, clanger, I'll get it. Back left. Back left. All right, number six is a recent glitch that I'm not sure who discovered. I just saw this on Squishy's stream where you basically reset your car in free play until you're spawned directly behind the ball. And then if you only drive forwards and backwards, not to the side at all, and yes, this is easier done on mouse and keyboard, you can actually get the ball stuck on top of your car without needing to make any adjustments to keep it there. So like you can just sit there with the ball on top of your car. This is a pretty weird glitch. Um, I'm not sure if they've patched it yet, or you know, it's possible that this has always been there. I couldn't find a ton of info about this one and I don't really know a lot about it. If you know more about this, let us know in the comments below. All right, number five is also a debatable glitch. And even if this is real, it may not be a glitch, but some people believe that you can actually choose where you spawn after you are demoed by just holding the D-pad down in the direction where you wanna be spawned immediately after you're demoed. Now, Musty made an entire video about this and we weren't really able to replicate it, even though he was 100% convinced that it worked going into making that video. And I have a theory about this now, maybe kind of a conspiracy theory, but I don't think it works anymore. I know that, but I think that it may have been working and Psyonix sort of like brought in the whole crew really quick to patch it without anyone knowing. And that's why Musty was doing it in ranked and he said he had done it in private matches a bunch and that it was consistently working like 100% of the time. But then when we went to make a video about it a little while later, it just didn't work at all. So just a theory, but who knows. Number four goes to Pulse Realizes really weird, unexplainable car glitch. And I'm not really sure if this is a glitch or just some crazy lag that we've never seen before. It's not like any type of lag I've seen. I mean, it definitely is server issues because the thing pops up, some sort of lag, but I just love the way that Realize's car starts freaking out and looking like it's about to rapture or like implode or something. This one's pretty funny. And yeah, I've never seen this anywhere else or anything like it. What, what, what? I can move. It's fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wait, can you move? I can't, I can't move. Okay, wait, you're moving. What? What? What is that? Do you just want to leave? Oh, yeah. Uh... <clears throat> what was it, like 410? Uh, no, it was just like 420s. Yeah, whatever. Number three goes to a great little glitch from a few months ago. Basically, the fireworks at Champions Field after an update went from sounding like normal fireworks to sounding like cannons directly in your left ear. Like every time a goal was scored, it was just deafening right in your ear. Alright, number two on my list goes to another recent bug having to do with demos and double demos in particular. So Teda or Tida, I don't know how to say his name. This guy basically made an entire video about this. But yeah, if you have two cars and they double demo in a private match head on, basically whoever joined the match first gets priority every time and would win the demo, while the other person would get, you know, demoed and have to respawn. 
And also, Lethemir tweeted around this time, and I believe that this was at DreamHack Valencia, he said that three goals were scored because of a bug or like a variation of this bug having to do with double demos, where someone would end up with all their boost. Now, I'm not sure if they've patched this or not, but yeah, this is a pretty weird one. All right, guys, number one goes to the funniest, funnest glitch that I've seen in a very long time, and this was pretty recent. But basically, for a bit, when your car was turtling up the wall, you could somehow wave dash off the wall super fast while being up down, which doesn't make any sense at all. But yeah, Psyonix came in and nerfed it rather quickly, and I'm kind of sad I didn't master this one because it just looks like it was a lot of fun. We create this jump thing if you just flip the turn around or turn over once you are upside down, but if you do it when you hit the ramp, you basically just like fling to the ceiling. I don't know why. I don't know how. I don't know. I can't recreate it 100% each time, but I'm pretty sure this has to do with how you can just drive on walls and stuff without falling over, but somehow it just got like a lot stronger. <laughs> and you can end up just doing that. So, yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching this one. Let us know down below if you can think of any other crazy glitches, or maybe you have some that you've experienced that nobody's heard of. Let us know down below, and also leave a like if you enjoyed this one. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace out. See the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the baggy, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the baggy, I get the bus.